be stuck in the house a little bit more. I know a lot of you, I'm Carrie McGraw, and this is my daughter, Kaylee McGraw. Um, yes, ah, never mind, we're good. Um, so anyway, uh, Kaylee goes to West Virginia University, uh, but she is home doing school right now, so she helped me out with this presentation tonight. So we're gonna talk a little bit about social media, how to have fun, and also how to be safe on social media. So um, it'll be both of those things as we talk. And we're also so excited because we got a lot of TikToks and Instagram pictures um, that we'll just share with the group. And then Kaylee and I have a way for us to have our own social media post all together at the very end. And we have lots of time for questions. So we're just excited um, that you guys are here with us tonight. So how to be a social media rock star. And here we go. Maybe. <laughs> and here we do not go. <laughs> oh, goodness, of course. Oh, hold on. Uh, here we, and here we maybe go this time. Yes. Yeah, All right. So hopefully you guys can see it. Yes? Um, no. no. All right. Yeah. Trying again, guys. Mechanical difficulties. It's all right. They're used to me running these things. It's exactly how it goes. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I can just go to screen. It will be easy. Yep. There we go. All right. And again, <laughs> hopefully you see it. First up, we're going to talk about TikTok and YouTube, which I know a lot of you have. Some of you don't. But I thought to introduce you to TikTok and YouTube, we would watch a couple fun videos. A couple videos are from people um, who sent them in to us. And a couple videos went viral or have been famous dances on TikTok. So we just combined them all together in one. And hopefully you guys will be able to hear and see this one. Right now left foot. Right foot. 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 Now left foot. One hand. One hand. Two hands. 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 Do your dance. Do your dance. Now lean with it. Right foot. Lean with it. Right foot. Now left foot. Right foot. Now left foot. Right foot. Now left foot. I know we've talked about it a little bit. Kaylee and I can't quite see you, but hopefully we have a lot of hands raised. The first thing we're going to talk about tonight is TikTok, and we're going to let Kaylee give us a little information on TikTok. So I'm sure you've all heard of it, but obviously it's a video sharing social media site, and it's used to do short dances and lip syncs and comedy and talent videos. And a lot of people are like, they'll use videos and ideas from other people and make them their own or 
edit the sounds and it's a really good opportunity to just be creative with all the effects TikTok has. So, okay. yeah. So because we're here, we want to make sure we talk about being safe online. And anything you use online has the same three safety rules. Be private, be careful, and stay strong. Those are the three main safety rules, whether you're using Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or Snapchat, they're always the same safety rules. But I'm going to let Kaylee tell you just a little bit more about those safety rules. So number one, be private. Be private about what you share. Never post your personal information, your phone number, your address, or your finance information. And always remember that what goes online stays online. And because you deleted it, it doesn't mean it's gone. Someone could have saved it or, you know, other companies might have saved your data. So you have to be careful about that. Number two, be careful. Be careful with friend requests. If you don't know them in real life, don't let them follow you. And do not answer private messages from anyone you don't know. Uh, number three, stay strong. Customize your privacy settings on each platform to control who sees your content. And to make sure that you have, oh, I can't speak. <laughs> to ensure the security of your account, borrow a friend's device to like look at it from their perspectives to see what um, your account would look like. And keep your password strong. Don't include your name, but also include like a various amount of capital letters and special characters to make sure other people don't see them. And you know, it's harder to get into your account. And always, if you're not sure about your safety settings, make sure you ask somebody to help you out to make sure that you're super safe online because it can be a lot of fun, but you have to make sure you're being safe about it. There's a couple other um, safety features on TikTok before we get started. You can look at what's called your digital well-being, which is up in the corner in your um, settings. You can also watch videos on TikTok without creating an account and just upload your dances to YouTube or Instagram. So Kaylee's gonna tell you some ways to have fun on TikTok. So after you've done all the security features and things that you want to do for TikTok, you can look at all the challenges. They've got, they've got hashtag dance challenge. They've got a bunch of other ones. Um, you can Google dance moves or go on YouTube and learn the dance moves. You can, they'll have recipes and videos um, on how to do certain crafts and do it yourself projects on there. And you know, you can take a video and post it to Instagram or YouTube with the addition it, uh, with, in addition to it being on TikTok. And some of the common hashtags I think right now are dad dance and pets of TikTok, quarantine challenge, for your page is a common one. That means like other people beside your followers will see it if you want that to happen. Right. And happy at home. Yeah. So then a lot of you said that you have YouTube channels. And Kaylee had some suggestions for how to have fun on YouTube. So again, after securing your YouTube account, um, it's important to keep your videos short because anything longer than seven minutes, people tend to zone out. You know, people come on YouTube for some, you know, fun and they don't want to have to sit there too long. And uh, stay on a theme. If you have a certain theme for your channel, you know, some people do health food, some people do mental health. Other people do do it yourself. Try and stick to that because more people will come back to that to see your ideas. Um, post regularly. If you're posting, if you're saying you're going to post every three weeks, post every three weeks. You know, your viewers want to see that and let your friends and family see. They want to know what you're up to. So, thanks, Kate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we thought we would point out some fun accounts that have a lot of followers on YouTube. We found this one channel called Rebranding Autism it has 25,000 followers on YouTube. Um, and this woman um, just takes you through her daily life um, and talks about it from the perspective of someone who has autism. And she also has a lot of fun. She's been um, blogging on her YouTube a whole lot lately during quarantine. Um, I guess it's something that she's been doing for fun. So her channel has been really active um, during quarantine. So you might want to check it out. Um, she's, she seems to be a lot of fun and is trying to do the same thing I heard you guys talking about doing, doing some extra cooking or some craft projects and games um, and talking about it all while she's on her YouTube. She might also give you some great ideas for some topics for your own YouTube channel um, if that's something that you're interested in doing. So rebranding autism. 
Kaylee and I also found a really fun account that really is just doing some fun dances and um, a brother and sister uh, one, you know, the sister runs the account, but they seem to have a lot of fun together. Um, and men, this is on TikTok um, and they have millions of views on each of their TikToks and they're just fun to watch short little videos they're doing dances they're having fun together um, and as everybody is living through quarantine together so um, I would encourage you if you're on TikTok check them out those videos are, are just fun um, and it's nice to see a brother and sister getting along um, and enjoying each other on TikTok so on TikTok you have the opportunity to have your, your, and even on YouTube, to have your video go viral. And what does that mean? That means that all of a sudden, you get a whole ton of views on your YouTube or your TikTok video um, because someone caught wind of it and passed it on to everyone else. So I thought I would show you this one quarantine video um, that is a hashtag quarantine challenge. A lot of um, high schoolers and college age kids are challenging their dads to do dances on on uh, YouTube and TikTok um, because mostly I guess they're making fun of them probably but um, the, dads have fun, the dads have fun too but in this one I think the girl got a little surprised in how good her dad was at this dance challenge so hopefully you guys will enjoy this and it'll inspire you to see if your dad's got me you want C and B in the house it's a quarantine Monday my daughter challenged me real quick while I was work, working away to a little dance challenge. Yeah. I don't think she realizes how much a 38 year old can still throw it down. 57. 51. 70, anyway, 72. let's do this. 72. <laughs> let's do this, Sammy, play it out. <clears throat> So there was one dad on YouTube that was having a lot of fun. So I had a couple questions for you and we're gonna um, let Jason unmute you. But maybe if you wanna put your questions in the chat or raise your hand or let us know in the chat that you wanna ask a question. Um, or I, my questions I've now pushed down. But we wanted to know if any of you have used Instagram, um, or I'm sorry, have used TikTok. Okay. Okay. And, uh, who your favorite people are. Hold up, yeah. Hold on. wanna do one at a time. Maybe. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go back on mute. So if you see someone raising their hand, let me know. I'll find them in the, in the, the feature here. So. Oh, except I've done. You used uh, TikTok or YouTube, and who are your favorite people to follow? Joe has his hand up. So let me scroll down to Joe. Joe, you're up. I saw the the guy with the hand. So funny. I like the you the video. That's very fake. Um, I really laughing so loud this one video. So funny. I yeah. like that video. Right. Me Thanks, too. Joe. Raise your hand if you love Joe's video. That was a good video <laughs> with, the, with the making it rain. <laughs> All right, does anyone else have someone they like to follow on TikTok? I think I have Dania um, that has her hand raised. All right, Dania, you're unmuted. Okay, so for me, um, so I'm on Instagram, actually. Um, I'm doing Instagram, I was like, follow what is on um it looks like tiktok but it's not but i usually doing like instagram like it looks like youtube i've been like using youtube now 
So, yeah. So we're going to talk about Instagram. That'll be up next, Dania. So we'll definitely want to hear from you on that. Has anybody done a um, TikTok dance? Have you, uh, have you tried to learn a TikTok dance um, and then recorded yourself? I think Anastasia has something to say. Jason. Anastasia, let me close that. Sorry, I got two things going. Let me go down to Anastasia. Where are you? All right, there you are. Oh, you're up, Anastasia. Okay, yeah. I've learned to dance on TikTok, and I follow them on Instagram, YouTube, um, where else? And Facebook. Which one? Which dance did you do, Anastasia? Oh, uh, what was it? It's when I remember, I'll write it in the chat box because I don't remember the dance right now. <laughs> right. Perfect. I think we have Carmen um, that wanted to say something. I believe, Jason. She's Carmen, you are unmuted. Hello. A little closer to the mic, there, Miss Carmen. Hi. Hello. Yeah, you're good. Okay. I remember in the chat box, what, what I did a, a, a Blind Night uh, dance challenge. And I remember that I did a coin key dance, like wa washing hands. Uh, Mom got it on TikTok, and uh, um, those two people got a uh, uh, vowel, actually. And then I got to do that. Uh, and then uh, I remember Kara posted uh, posted uh, uh, of me of uh, doing my lighting life dance challenge. Yeah, did you have fun doing that, Carmen? I just yeah, you could just say yes, <laughs> just nod. Did anybody else make a TikTok dance challenge? Amanda, do you want to talk about it? Right. Yeah, Amanda Moore. Okay. Closing that out. All right, hold on. We got the the chat box is open. Yeah. And uh, close the chat box, Jason. There we go. <laughs> what is going on? Hold on. Can... See here. Let me try. I can do it, Jason. Hang you tight. can do it. All right. Yeah, Amanda, go ahead. You're unmuted. I just watch TikTok or Facebook like crazy people did it like. This and pair of dog. Yeah. So you like to make TikTok videos. And funny custom is really funny. Yeah. Yeah. Watch on Facebook. It's really funny. So oh sorry, Amanda, that's my fault. <laughs> so uh, if you wanted to do a TikTok dance, you know that you can Google. The dance moves. So if you see a dance on TikTok and you go on Google how to do the renegade TikTok dance, you can look it up and they have videos that show you step by step, which is a great way to stay in shape and also a whole lot of fun. Um, and sometimes you can also figure out which ones are a little bit easier to start with if you're not a dancer to begin with. Um, but really it's about having fun. So if you're on TikTok and you find a video that um, you want to try, just Google it and you can um, watch one of those instructional videos before you go ahead and record yourself. I think David had something to say. Did you, David? I'm going to unmute you. There you go, David. I learned how to do a TikTok dance. It's like a Mexican style dance and I recorded myself. It's like a and I also choose a nice background, like I was born in Ecuador, so I choose the background of the country of Ecuador, and I pretended that I was walking through the neighborhood while I was dancing to the, to the Mexican song. Yeah, but, we saw that one, David, and, and you have such good security settings, I couldn't save it. Um, so I thought at the end, if we have a couple minutes, I'll flip over to my Facebook where you sent it to me. Um, but yeah, David's getting fancy. I think David has the advanced TikTok skills, um, putting in a special background. You can also do that as well. There's a lot of fun things you can do to make your video even um, funnier. Today, Kaylee took a video of me that looked like my head was coming out of the refrigerator, but I'm not quite sure that it's working yet. No. It wasn't quite ready for public viewing yet. Does anyone else have something to share about um, TikTok? I, Elizabeth, I think maybe you do. 
Is it, can you thumbs up? Okay, Elizabeth, you're ready? Yeah. All right. Hi, how are you guys? <laughs> Good, how are you? Good, I want to ask you, um, are you gonna see Special Olympic people? Photos of Special Olympics? Athletes? What was the question again, Elizabeth? Are we gonna see Special Olympic people? Videos of Special Olympic people? Well, we're gonna see fo Instagram photos that people sent in, and we did just see a video of Joe. Um, so we're gonna do a little mixture of both. Okay, so you see Instagram pictures of Special Olympic people? Yes, ma'am, we sure are. Oh, okay, because I didn't see any. Not yet, we are get there, almost. All right, do we want to check the chat before we move on? Oops, my fault. No, no problem. Uh, let's see, some people are, <laughs> yeah, talking about starting uh, TikTok accounts. Uh, some people recorded videos. Yep. Yeah, again, if you're going to start a TikTok account, make sure you go back to our safety measures, which is be safe, be, be private, and stay strong. So you want to make sure that you don't put anything up that you wouldn't want to do in the middle of the mall and know that it never goes away, that it's always up there, and that you want to keep your passwords strong. So um, I thought I saw one more hand raise. Is there someone who hasn't spoken that would like to talk real quick? All right, so we move on to our next part. Yes, Elena says she's a firm believer in being safe. I 100% agree, Elena. So I'm gonna go back to sharing my screen and we'll move on to Instagram and see some pictures of our friends on Instagram. All right, why did that not do that? Mm -hmm. All right, hang tight, we have to do this again. Same technical difficulty. <laughs> Let's see if that works. We're getting there. Technical problem, hang tight. There we go. All right, Instagram. All right, so um, we had Anna, I think Elizabeth asking to see some of our friends from Special Olympics. And if you remember, we had asked everybody to send in some pictures or some TikTok videos or some YouTube videos. And we saw Joe's video and I think was that Leandra's video. Uh, but here we have Elena being insta-fabulous with some of her pictures, which looks like some beautiful summer days. Um, and all ready for Instagram out there and making us all wish for the summertime and we were at the beach. So thank you, Elena. And then we have Adam, as always, making us all feel like we need to do more cardio. He makes us all want to get healthy and he has some really cool pictures of his bike rides. And I love seeing his updates on Instagram and Facebook. Um, so I thought this was an especially cool picture of Adam on his bike. So I know we all know Adam rides really far every day, even during quarantine. And then we have Paul who sent us a smile, sent us such a good Instagram smile that uh, we had to just post it up to the smile emoji. So we thank Paul for that really fun picture. And then we have Leandra with some Insta poses. She was doing her dance and she got some still shots. And that's a great fun thing to do on Instagram if you're into dancing or you're into pets or you're into horses to really focus your Instagram account on something you're interested in. And then maybe you can find other people that are interested in the same thing. We have Brandon taking some selfies, which is a really fun thing to do on Instagram and post up what you're doing. And we have Danielle and we put her with the hashtag pets of Instagram because if you like to take pictures of your dog or your cat or your ferret or your snake, you can make sure that you hashtag it and that you'll be combined with other people who like the same things. So your dog's pretty cute, Danielle. I love it. Then we have John Bogaski or who keeps us uh, up to date on all the things that he does. Um, especially now during quarantine. And I'll say, I have never seen such a cool setup, John, uh, for your Zoom meetings on that giant TV um, so that you can see everybody. I wonder if you're watching us on that big TV. So there's John keeping us up to date on all his fun. 
So I'm going to let Kaylee just give you a little primer on what is Instagram. It seems like a lot of you know what it is, but we're going to catch everybody up. Well, it's an American photo and video sharing social networking service owned by Facebook. And Instagram focuses on visual content. You can do Instagram stories. And when you post something, you can do a series of pictures. And there's just a lot of options now since it's grown. It's been seven would you years say, since I've been on Instagram. Like, would you say Instagram is more pictures and videos or 50 50 i think it depends i think a lot of people put um videos on their stories mm -hmm. and you know um pictures on their actual page so. Okay. so then reminders of being safe sorry guys be private be careful stay strong when you're setting up an instagram account but we're gonna let Kaylee tell you how to be an Instagram rock star. So how can you be someone, go from someone who maybe has just a casual Instagram account to somebody who has um, an Instagram account that it gets a couple more uh, followers to it. So Kaylee, take it away. You know, I think the biggest thing is like definitely making it show your personality. So you can choose a theme that you like, choose a color scheme and um, make your pictures all like coordinate so that they have an overall theme for your page and people will look at your page and be like, huh, that looks really cool. Their personality really shines through their page and I think that's the best way to do it. Um, you pay attention to your photo placement. You don't want to uh, place like two photos of very similar color next to each other. You want to have some contrast. Um, definitely use hashtags and you know if you don't want to post something you could always put it to your story if you don't um, if it doesn't match the theme of your layout quite yet. So, and then you can edit them as well. So you can try apps like Pixar to create more eye-catching photos. There's a bunch of like star, like you can edit stars on your pictures and do like sketch outlines and yeah, things like that. Right on Instagram, yeah. right. So mm -hmm. before you post your photo, if you try some of those buttons with your photo, you can try to put some filters on and do some fun stuff with your pictures right in Instagram, right? Yeah. So, since we saw all of our um, Special Olympics friends, we also thought we'd talk about a few people who have become Instagram famous. And we thought we'd do a special focus on um, maybe people with disabilities and people without disabilities that have become famous on Instagram. And I think we all know my first person may be Madeline Stewart. She's the world's first supermodel that has Down syndrome. And she has 340,000 followers on Instagram. Um, so this is a little uh, snippet of Madeline Stewart's Instagram page, and you can see how she really goes with a theme of high fashion, beautiful colors, um, and you can follow her adventures of being a supermodel, which is really fun. So I thought I would show you one of the videos that Madeline has posted to her Instagram about her journey and the things that she's doing being a, a model and an Instagram famous person. Oh, maybe I did that. Maybe I didn't. Where is that video? Oh, you know what? I think that was my blank one. I'll come back to that. I also wanted to mention that something else fun you could do that you might not thought of on social media is if you have your own business or you do crafts, um, you can advertise it on social media, on Instagram and TikTok. And somebody who did just that was John from John's Crazy Socks. John has a sock business and he makes really fun colored socks and he sells them online and he advertises them right on Instagram and right on TikTok and you can order them online. Um, and he was and he owns his own company and he doesn't have a store. He just has it right online and, and gives you the information in Instagram. So there's another idea if you're a crafter or you have some other kind of service, you can think about opening an account to advertise your business or your service so that people can purchase things right online. And that's a new thing people are doing. I wanted to watch that video, so I'm gonna get to it. So uh, hang tight, I'm gonna stop sharing a second. Maybe we'll ask some questions while I try to get to Madeline Stewart's video. Um, so do you guys have, raise your hand if you have somebody on Instagram that you like to follow. Do you have someone on Instagram that you like to follow? Uh, we have Carmen, do you want to talk? I can unmute her, Jason. Oh. No? No, I, I say hello. Oh, I hello. Do. 
So on my Instagram, I've been following one of my favorite mentors, which is um, is she she's British. Um, her name is Holly Holly Willoughby, and I've been posting of my outfit on Instagram, and I get a lot of likes on that. Um, that was actually um, uh, one of the um, my favorite uh, from Income Deck. I always talk about a lot. Um, uh, that person said, "I'm very like I'm um, like I'm so talented that I'm, I'm recreating my own fashion of her." Oh wow, that's really cool, Carmen. So Thanks. you post your outfits each day. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. And you've gotten comments complimenting you on your outfit. Yeah. And you follow somebody else who enjoys fashion as well. Yes. That is a great way to use Instagram. I love and, that. And also, um, um, and also the, I have, I have a, a lot of uh, f uh, followers. I have like uh, 993 followers mm -hmm. uh, on my Instagram and I get like, 75,000 or 74,098, like that. Wow, that's really awesome. I love that. Thanks. Yeah, so everybody go follow Carmen, I guess, right? Yes, it's um, on, <laughs> it's, on Instagram, it's at SOMD underscore Carmen. That's my Instagram name. You guys could put your Instagram names in the chat. Yeah, that's a good idea, Kaylee. If you that's want to put idea. your Instagram names in the chat, Carmen wants you to do the same so that nobody has to remember that right off. Uh, so does anybody else have somebody they like to follow on Instagram? I think Dania does. Maybe I'll unmute her. There we go. Go ahead, Dania. For me, I have Instagram. Um, so my Instagram name, it is Dania and Costa. I've been using it. Like since like forever now, and so like when I posted my video, like my um or, like photos or video, uh -huh. or, like when I go on there, I posted my outfit or like my outfit or uh, my fashion, like like my dress and everything. Yeah. So when I um when I go outside or inside whatever, um. You can do your pose, whatever you want, and follow the follow like for Instagram. When I go to Instagram, you follow what you have to do. Like you follow what you do, like pose or something like that. You add it on Instagram. That's right. What you're interested in. You're right, Tanya. Does anyone else have something that they're interested in that they follow on Instagram? I'm gonna unmute Anastasia. She looks like she has something to say. <laughs> Yeah, and then add them after that, Gary. Okay. okay. I have two. Okay. All right. This girl named Annie LeBlanc. Mm hmm And also Travis Pastrana. And what do you like about those pages, Anastasia? Okay. So the reason why I like Travis Pastrana is because he's my neighbor, and he's a famous dirt bike rider. Cool. And his wife is also a pro skateboarder. And I also like Annie LeBlanc because she went to the same gymnastics place that I went to. Oh, cool. Yeah, we both did gymnastics. So it's somebody you know and somebody that's famous at the same time. Yeah. Anastasia, do you follow things that you're interested in on Instagram? Um, yeah, I follow people. I like skimboarding, so I follow this guy named Juke Squads because they're pro skimboarders. I like to skimboard. I like to watch um, just sports. Yeah, those are great so, things. Yeah, I'm very active. <laughs> of course, well, you're a Special Olympics athlete, so. Yeah. Of All right, Jason, you want to go to Adam? He had something to say, and then we have Alicia that wanted to. All right, Adam. Uh -huh. Well, I just follow anything, uh, anybody cycling, obviously, you know, so that's uh, what uh, I uh, don't have a specific account uh, off the top of my head, but I know that, uh, but anytime I uh, find a pro cyclist, I usually like to watch what they're doing. My brother suggests them to me, so, you know. 
And then, yeah. of course, I uh, like to just uh, post anything of that type. So, yeah. And I think you're pretty good at him at promoting your, you know, not really promoting, but kind of uh, regularly posting so we can see the long rides that you take and we can follow along with the exercise that you're doing. Does that keep you motivated? Is that what you're thinking about when you're, when you're doing all those posts? A lot of it's just about my life. It's not really about uh, a certain topic per se. Uh, my, my Instagram's just about uh, what's happening in my life, you know, and, um, and I like to share, uh, what's going on. When I first started it, I just was kind of like, uh, it's kind of like, a um, the picture form of, uh, of a, uh, journal for me, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and that's how I usually use it. Yeah, I get that. I've been taking a lot of pictures during quarantine of things that kind of surprised me, and thinking that, you know, I'd like to make a sort of a, put those pictures together. So hopefully when we're all looking back on this time, you know, we're like, oh, that was crazy. Glad it's over, right? <laughs> so certainly that can be a way to journal. So I think we had Alicia, but I'm not sure where she is. Oh, there. I got her. Yeah, she's okay. on. Alicia, you're up. Okay. Um, speaking of all the apps we've been talking about, and that is about the account, your email account. Whenever you use email account, um, they ask, every app will ask you for that information, like your email. Any apps will ask you to put the information in, like your email, for example. And I am actually struggling right now um, to keep me safe right at this point. So I don't know what to do on the, Hey, um, how you call this? Um, activity controls. So I need think, help, but yeah, Alicia, I think that that was the the final key in our in our talk about safety, which was when you when you yeah, I had to be strong and safety and so forth. But um, only thing is that um, yeah, let me see, let me think, because they ask you your YouTube history through your because your email account is relating to your all the apps like yeah. TikTok and Instagram and all that stuff. They're so asking your email. Sometimes people email. use a, a special email that is sort of a, a junk email for say that maybe use a Gmail account or you use something that um, you don't have to check all the time to make yeah, your social media email account. That's a, yeah that's what I need help with. So I would definitely <laughs> ask a family member um, to help you out with that. And I would encourage everybody to do the same when you're opening up a new account um, to ask a family member or a friend that you trust to help you open that up so you can make sure that your safety settings are where you want them to be. Um, and I would also encourage you to, like Kaylee said, um, look at your account from somebody else's point of view. So, um, you know, ask one of your friends if you can look at what your account looks like from their perspective and you can make sure you can't share things or accept friend requests that you don't want. So safety is really important and talking to someone you trust is important. Did somebody else have something to share? I thought, saw a, a couple of hands up. I think Joe does, uh, Jason. All right, Joe, you're up. Hey, I have an Instagram account. I never get here, only uh, never get here on my my social security number, nothing. Only my email, that's it. I see the yeah. Instagram is a more safety issue. You don't get yeah. on somebody and like a, get it all in, a, in your, your your email address and no, no I see the Instagram is more safety in, in especially Facebook. I Facebook think, are know, not safe. There are certain things that an account or uh, an app or, or something that you're using would never ask you for. And Kaylee talked about those things. So if anything would ask you for your social security number, if anybody would ask you for your finance information, if anybody would ask you for your home address most of the time for a social media account, those things are not necessary. Um, and that's when you wanna stop, you want to check with someone you trust, and you wanna make sure that that is um, a real thing that you're signing up for. So you want to be super cautious on those things. 
That's why we were also suggesting on TikTok, you can actually go on there and watch your videos without making an account. So if you're not sure about um, whether you want to be on TikTok as, as a, a person who people can follow or, or whatever, you can watch the videos and then post them up to YouTube if you feel more comfortable doing that. That's sometimes a good option. Um, and maybe Leandra has something to say, Jason. Leandra. As soon as I can find her, yeah, hold on. Oh, there you go, Leander, I'm coming back to you. Uh, go ahead. Oh, no, don't go ahead. <laughs> Ooh, false alarm. I cannot yeah. unmute right, Leandra. I got her. Go oh, ahead, okay. Leandra. Okay. I have an Instagram. Why are you crying? I know. You don't know? You forgot? I my Instagram so much. You love it so much? Yeah. Well, I will tell you, Leandra, your video was a lot of fun that you sent us, and we really enjoyed that video. So um, keep it up, girl. You got the moves, I'll tell you that much. Uh, <laughs> all right. My Instagram name is Special Cheer, and I have a lot of friends. Yeah, you me. And that's it. Okay. Right. Well, Leandra, if you can, put your Instagram name in the chat, and hopefully you'll get some new friends from Special Olympics. I would say if you're going to friend somebody from Special Olympics, also then send them a private message and let them know, hey, this is, you know, Carmen from Special Olympics. I just friended you. So just in case it's not obvious. So... Let's take a, a couple seconds break from our question and answers. I did want to show you guys that Madeline, oh, let's let Anastasia talk. She seems very anxious to see something and then we'll watch our Madeline start video. Go right. ahead, Anastasia, I got her, Jason. All right. Yeah, real quick. Can I just say a statement? Of course. You can never have too many friends. That's true. On social media, however, I would but, say. No, wait, wait. I know, okay, I know, you I got know. another. You got a caveat. Go on. <laughs> I know. I know. So you can't have too many friends, but as long as you know the pre the people, if you don't know that person, mm -hmm. do not add that person. That's really true. So it's mm -hmm. a good rule of thumb that if you don't know the person in real life, don't mm -hmm. accept their friend request. And right. I know that maybe Carmen has a lot on her Instagram. And that takes some upkeep and some really cautious, um, some cautious looking to make sure that you're being safe. But in general, it's a good idea not to accept a friend request if you don't know that person in real life. So we talked about Madeline Stewart and how cool she was. So I'm going to share my sc screen and let's watch her Insta Instagram video um, that she had put up the other day or in last summer.
Okay. Yeah, let me turn that off actually, make sure it doesn't uh, move on. How do I do it? Yes. All right, Kaylee's got me covered. <laughs> let me do it. Yeah, there we go. Let me back it up. Okay, stop. stop. <laughs> We're back, sorry. So Madeline Stewart, who's heard of her? Raise your hand if you've heard of Madeline Stewart. T Miss Tammy, you Mary's heard of him. Carmen's heard, of course, with Fashion Alina. David has, so very good. So do we have any more Instagram comments before we go on to the next part? Oh, Leandra has an Instagram comment. All right, Leandra. Oh, she's on mute. I am a, an amazing country song. I have a beautiful dress, beautiful outfit. I do my hair down and I walk to in the front of everyone. And I do it. I have an amazing bow. And everybody loves me because I am so famous. Leandra, are you saying that you've been in a fashion show before? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wow. Very good. I love that. So do you ever take pictures in your dresses on your Instagram? Yes. All the time. Yes. That's so cool. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, Carrie. That oh, yeah. Go ahead, Jason. Yeah. Uh, Sean Taniel had his hand raised virtually. So, Sean, you're open. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's great to be here with everyone, and I think it's great we're posting all these videos and talking about TikTok and YouTube, and uh, I myself have already uh, gone on Instagram. My girlfriend, Rachel, got me on there, and I started following some people, and I use Facebook, and, uh, and I use Skype. I don't know if anyone has heard of that, but... Um, yeah, I've used, um, I've become one with technology and, um, and uh, yeah, it's, this is, this is awesome what we're doing. Thanks, Sean. So uh, I think Carmen wanted me to mention that uh, she's going to be talking about maybe on uh, an upcoming social club. Maybe that, maybe that's a plug or maybe that's happening. We're not sure, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> no, it it is true. Carmen it will be doing uh doing a, a social club uh thing on women's fashion for the active special books athlete or active woman. Uh she'll be sharing some of her, her modeling pictures and uh and some fashion tips and the things she follows. So that'll be advertised in the next uh, week or to ten days, so you'll be able to join. And Elena has also mentioned she's talking about pets. And I think on a social club as well, I believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's a good um, thing to remind you guys that uh, social media can be a great place to advertise. So I put um, this social club on uh, Facebook and advertised it um, and put the link out there so that people would know about it. And I think Carmen and Elena and anybody else who's doing a social club, it's a great idea um, to put that information out there on your social media. Um, you know, so that people know that you're doing it um, and they can join you. And that's all about um, being social and, and, and staying connected. Um, did somebody who hasn't spoken have something they want to add? I'll get you, Carmen, in a second. Dania, do you, do you have something? Do you see somebody who hasn't spoken, Jason? Uh, well, David's hands up. I think he spoke already. Um, and I, Dania has. Uh, Todd, did you want to say something? Give me a thumbs up if that's. If you were waving at me. Okay. Just give me a thumbs up. So Todd Pullian. Okay. I love the video. You love the video? Yeah. All right. Are you on Instagram? Give me a thumbs up. Are you or, or yes, say yes. Are you on Instagram? No, I'm on my laptop. Yeah, that's fun. All right. I think Dania had something to say, Jason. We'll take a couple more and then we'll do okay. our, our final thing. Yeah, Dania, you're unmuted. So, for my Instagram, like for like fashion, um, is that like I use like 
for me, I use Instagram or mm. Facebook. Yeah. And I have like all of those what I have and I always put on mine timeline like videos and stuff like that. Uh -huh. I keep on putting my my um I put like my fashion model like mm -hmm. like dresses and everything. Um show yourself what you want and follow what you have to say. Right. But for mine it would be like I always like being popular, being famous, <laughs> fashion model. This yeah. is what I want to be like on Instagram and to see what you had to be react. Right, right. I think a lot of people think that too, Dania, when they're on uh, Facebook or, or, or I mean, Instagram or whatever, it'll be fun to be Instagram famous or TikTok famous. Uh, you know, and I think, you know, for some people that might happen, um, it's probably good to, to focus on, you know, having fun and be like Kaylee said, being yourself um, and, you know, just letting people know you're on there um and you know and hoping that you can connect with people you didn't know or don't get to talk to as much just like we can today on zoom so i think that's a good point dania who thinks that they're gonna get off this call and maybe try something new on social media raise your hand if you might try something new like try a TikTok dance to keep fit or try to do a youtube video or watch a new vlog and, and maybe it's a great time to start something new. Elena for sure has her hand up. Uh, Adam has his hand up. So we've got a lot of people, Carmen, um, that think maybe they'll go and try something new. For sure, TikTok was something new for me and it's certainly a lot of fun. Amanda, Anastasia, all gonna try maybe some TikTok videos. Make sure if you do, you still send it to me. I'd love to see it and maybe we can feature them another time. So we're going to move on to the very last part of today. Um, and I thought what would be really fun is if we all want to go viral, if what that means is lots and lots of people see um, our video, I thought it would be kind of fun to send a message to Maryland on our Zoom today. Um, and so Jason is going to record, well, he's been recording, but I'm going to cut off all but this part. And maybe we can send a message to Maryland to be as strong as the Special Olympics athletes. So I had written something to say that we're all going to try to say together. So we're going to practice it two times on mute. And then we'll practice it one time not on mute. And then we'll do it one more time and it's going to be so good. And I'm going to make it into a video and we're going to send it around and see how many likes we can get. Um, on our message to Maryland to stay strong. So let me get to that real quick because you all seen how not talented I am at switching around here. Um, I want to get down to my very last thing. So a lot of times when you're doing this, you're going to call it a call to action because you want somebody to do something based on seeing your um, social media. So that's something that's done in marketing and communications, um, a call to action, because you don't want people just to look at what you've put out there. Maybe you want them to do something because of what you put out there. So here is what we're going to say, and I thought we could practice it two times with everyone on mute, because when we do it the final time, I think I need to take it off the screen. Um, so we're just going to do our best to remember it. Um, and just see how it goes. Um, but let's practice it together. So we're gonna say these words and then we're gonna wave. So I'm gonna, me and Kaylee can do it together, mm -hmm. okay? All right, so we're gonna say, I'm gonna count to three and we'll do it. One, two, three. Stay, Stay strong, strong, Maryland. We are all in this together from Special Olympics, Maryland, and then wave. All right, let's practice one more time on mute. Ready? Say, stay strong, Maryland. We are all in this together from Special Olympics, Maryland. And then you don't say wave, but you just wave. <laughs> so we are going to, Jason, you want to see what happens? <laughs> Everyone is unmuted. Yeah. Okay, well, I won't say that. Yeah. One, two, 
Oh, she's gone. I'm still here. 